Hi Cancer, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel. These are the two decks that I'm using and the Hanson Roberts deck, the little cards, the tarot. So here we go. This is your reading for the 2nd to the 8th. Okay. The Oracle of Visions, I'm going to take one of these cards and I'm going to go really into it in detail so you can get to know this card. I have done a review on this on these cards, but that was already a couple of years ago. But I, I'm so very um, cautious with these cards because they're one of the uh, most beautiful artists, Hiro Manchetti. And, uh, you know, he's not making any more cards, so I do take care of those type of cards that <clears throat> are rare. Okay, these are the attitude cards of the Fantasy uh, uh, Cat Oracle deck. And this is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Then I've got f uh, 15 cards of cats and they've all got their meaning. Okay, and this is by uh, Paola Burberry. <clears throat> Paola Burberry. Okay, and I will go into one of these cards, number one, or the one that feels the most <clears throat> important and I will go into that there we go so this is for the second till the eighth and you've got number 31 and this is like let me have a look I think this could be secrets. This could also be saving secrets or um, refusing to lock the, um, the box on secrets or open the box to secrets because the key is in the crystal ball. So perhaps you're trying to find the key and it looks like there is text messages coming in. If any of you know what a telex is, then this is how the messages came in on a piece of paper, punched holes in it. <clears throat> wow. Going back into history. That was that was the prototype to uh, the computer, the telex. And that was um, sending messages. You could type messages through the telephone line. That's the first thing, the first cyber uh, way of no 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 sorry sorry um mos mos code mos code was the first way to type through telephone line messages but that's a secret language mm, yeah it's pretty hard to learn anyway she's got the key so perhaps she's got a choice of keys <clears throat> perhaps she was looking for a key and she's found it the light shone upon it. Okay, let's have a look what this um, card means. And I was quite right. It means secrecy, confidentiality. There you are, that's the, se the, the box of secrets. Every relationship between two individuals or uh, two groups will be will be characterized by the ratio of secrecy that is involved in it. And this comes from George Simmel. From the clandestine world of espionage to the privacy of our personal inner thought, we attempt to keep our own secrets but seek those of others. Any sharing of such confidentialities requires a demonstration of trust, whether it is between nations, cooperations or in intimate family and friends. In the context of human relationships, our curiosity or need to know 
may be for self-interest or a desire to help others to achieve either will uh, self-interest to achieve either will require a key that in turn provides access to the information we seek it may be facts and figures or simply a better understanding of the circumstances such information may be provided freely by those who control it or withheld until we have proven ourselves these keys may take the form of the most complex cryptic puzzle or password but also a simple as simple you can trust me gesture offered to a troubled friend in this card the guardian is herself symbolically an oracle she poses the answers you seek and can provide you with the keys to access them but before doing so, you may have to prove that you are ready. Seeking greater truths, even those of self-discovery, often requires some demonstration of worthiness. Now, if you don't understand that, I will translate it. Sometimes it takes more effort <clears throat> to win somebody's trust, especially if you know somebody is em could be emotionally um, damaged like they've been used and abused then it will take a little bit more before you can get their trust before they will open up their heart and solar plex to you because they're very weary it could um, you have to prove towards the other person that you are trustworthy and loyal and perhaps it could just be with a simple thing like I love you or a hug um, or that you give somebody the feeling that you are uh, uh, you do understand them and that you are an empath an empath means an emotional person you can feel what they're feeling you understand what they're feeling so they will open up and tell you their issue at hand so this is being the guardian of your inner secrets you have the key to open up or to keep it closed and if you can understand that then you also understand why somebody else finds it hard to open up beautiful card and it is a 31 so that will become a four now i'm going on to monday and monday for the attitude card we have desiring intimacy we desiring intimacy you might be in a group but you do desire intimacy friendships so that is very that relates very well to this perhaps you are scared to get to let people in and let them come close to you then we have dreaming you dream you can be dreaming about intimacy about a relationship but you might have had difficult difficulties in other relationships and so you find it difficult to um, be intimate with people and that's what happens when you close your heart dreaming imagine imagine what you can reach when you stand together follow your intuition so i'm going to go into this card a little bit more your subconscious mind knows the way Trust the whispers of your dreams. Embrace inner symbols. Listen to intuitions and give yourself over to psychic impressions. Balance on the threshold. Reach beyond the veil. Speak to ancestors. Converse with ghosts. Engage with darkness. Play in shadow. Tickle your inner, inner child and charm your ancient elder self. The sky is 
as infinite as the depth of the soul. Your dreams care not for the trappings of a material world. In dreams you are free. Allow yourself to fly. Follow the intuition of your imagination. Embark on wakening and sleeping dreams. Recall information that has been lost. Look deep and water the inner well. The cat looks and observes. Be like the cat. Know yourself to know the past, the present and the future. In other words, when you meditate or sit quietly, then um, let the thoughts come in. Don't stop the thoughts, don't force it. And take notes and see which dreams are coming in. The cat always sits there and he's with open eyes, and, but he's still very quiet and solemn. Listen to your intuition as well and your emotions. Cats often engage in dreams, states whilst awake, preferably in rays and triangles of hypnotic sunshine. They always see the, the warmth, seek the warmth. Follow the sun to discover your inner moon. Allow the warmth and fantasy of sunlight to lull you into dream state. Catnap often, curl up in the light and allow warmth to overtake your being while going on an inner journey and lucid dream. Explore, explore all fantasies in a dream state first before bringing this to reality in your life. Test the waters first. Experiment, play and go deep. So test the waters first. And this could also be with um, uh, with getting intimate. See what you see what the other person. If you meet somebody, see what they like and try them out. <clears throat> Get to know the waters. You know, jumping in at the deep end can be difficult if you can't swim. Then you've got the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. She is Mother Earth. So if you would like to get pregnant, for example, then test the waters. Is this the right partner? Is this the partner I would like to spend the rest of my life with? Things like that. Let it grow. Test the waters before you actually jump in on the deep end. But that you are fertile, so if you don't want to get pregnant, take precautions. If you would like a child, then there could be a child because you are fertile and the waters are ready to receive the baby. And you might be hearing of a birth. This could be of a baby or finding out you're pregnant. Or this could be of a new project like a job or a hobby or a relationship. This could be with a Virgo. This could be with a Capricorn. This could be with a Taurus, it will grow. She also stands for growth and nurturing and blossoming. What she grows, it will blossom. And you can harvest. She's got the green fingers. <clears throat> Her nurturing and loving side will spur on the plant to grow. Okay, beautiful. Then we go to Wednesday, and the attitude card here is desiring balance. Perhaps you've met somebody that you want to be intimate with, but the relationship is not quite balanced, and you wish you were balanced. Then we have 12, running, running. Perhaps your bio clock is telling you something, and you feel it's time now to get on with it. Hurry, hurry, hurry. That is what running means. Perhaps it's not the right time. Perhaps you're still doubting yourself and you're trying to seek the balance. Try to take it step by step. If you, um, that you can't run before you can walk. 
that is beautiful. And you've got the Ten of Cups. Okay, Cancer. Happy families. Happy reunion with family or friends. So midweek there might be a family reunion or with friends. An end of a phase, a new beginning. Number 10. <coughs> you might even get more love as this is the full circle of love. It will entail intimacy. Definitely something like could be mother love, okay, or love from an aunt, desiring belonging. You to this, you desire to belong with something or someone. This could be in a club. This could be with family or friends, as the family and friends card is there. <clears throat> Your feeling might be sensitive if you've got the card feeling. So feeling is also to balance. This is on Friday. You might want to balance even more. And you have the desire <coughs> to belong. So you have to also feel balanced and at ease with the people around you. And two is balancing. So try to balance your feelings with happiness. Perhaps you might get a load of happiness on Wednesday midweek and it comes down. It might be a family member that pops by because uh, uh, they are just in the neighborhood and they leave again. You were happy to see them and you think, well, I'm all alone now. And it might bring you out of balance. But listen to your feelings. Everything is all right. Open your heart. Embrace the vulnerability. Perhaps they might just come round and seek your advice. Look, you might feel like you have to defend yourself. You've got the seven of rods. You've got the seven of rods. You can stand your ground. You've got both feet on the ground. You are stronger than you think. This attitude, desiring transformation. Again, he's trying to balance on the neck of the dragon. Transformation, you want something new. Well, you will be getting some, something new because you've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, and that means new beginnings. And then you have enchantment. Okay, enchantment that is magical. Be enchanting. Okay, sorry. You might be casting a spell that only you can weave. Your intention is supported by the angels and the universe. And one and five is six. So you will be in balance. At the weekend, you'll be enlightened. Look at the cat glowing. The light is in the shape of a cat. And enchanting means magical. Let yourself shine. Be the beacon. Be magical. You will draw flies to light. The flies to light. You will draw people towards you, then they will belong with you, and vice versa. And look at this. This could be a new love. Luck is on your side, because lilies mean luck. And you've got the Ace of Pentacles. You might get a new job. You might get a new love. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, like I said at the beginning of the week. You hold the key to your secrets. You hold the key to your own power. Okay? So go for it, my little cancer. Love you. And I hope you've enjoyed this reading. But before I go, we have got something new. You can see all charms in here. And all the colours of the chakra and the white light that the universe cleans you with. Clears the chakras. 
white lights, so I've put them in there, and I'm going to switch around, first of all, and let's see what we've got here. Okay, dreaming, and that's the heart chakra. Pink is the heart chakra in the angelic uh, book, um, because we've got angels connected with that, and um, the, I think pink is Archangel Shamuel, and it's the heart chakra is green or pink in the angelic book. And I love working with the angels, as you know. So pink is Shamuel, and that is the heart. So open your heart to the right person, okay? And it's lying on the de uh, desiring uh, intimacy and desiring balance. So perhaps you might already be hooked up, but you might want some more intimacy. And perhaps you you are intimate, but you want would like more balance in the relationship. Now, um, on running, we have the heart. Your heart is running away. Perhaps that is the issue. Your heart runs away. I think you can hope you can see it. It's a delicate heart. So that looks like a sensitive being. You are sensitive because you are the emotional sign, the water sign, and you've got the anchor. You fall in love, hook, line, and sinker. You are, you might be going on holiday in, in a boat, but you might have found your place now, and that is where you're going to stay. And then we've got the dog. You might be getting a dog. But the dog also means friendship. You might get a new friend. Like the Lena Mum card, you've got the dog. And the anchor means yes to a question in Lena Mum. And you're coming home to a safe haven. The dog is loyal and trustworthy and luck is on your side. So you might be meeting a new love your heart will anchor with this love and they are loyal, be it woman or man. So, <clears throat> I would say um, let your heart run away, but also be able to walk before you run. Take your time, open your heart. Beautiful, beautiful. I hope you like that little charm reading. It does clarify. So take your time and you'll find the right place. Yes, you you will lose your heart again. And you are loyal and they will be loyal too. You'll meet somebody loyal. I hope you've liked this reading. And remember, together we stand strong. And please give us the thumbs up. I see you tonight. And uh, otherwise, in the next video, please share and like. Take care. Bye-bye.